That's me! Hey guys and welcome back to another Lost Bits video right here on Tetrabit Gaming, the series where we explore some scrapped, unused, and unseen content in video games. As you're probably aware by now, the 90s edutainment style game, Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning, has basically taken YouTube by storm. And what do you know, although not a lot of it, Baldi's Basics is no stranger to having some content that didn't make it into the final release of the game. So without any further delay, go grab your 7 notebooks, it's time to sweep 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 and find some lost bits. Starting off, it looks like there was initially going to be some sort of slingshot item that would have been most likely used against any of the other idiots in the halls. This is based on an unused audio file titled MEC underscore slingshot. This is what it would have sounded like. Ever think the normal math questions in the game were too easy? Well, it turns out that at one point in development, the developer Mistman12 planned to include multiplication and division questions as well. BAL underscore math underscore divided goes completely unused. Divided by... It is possible to hear Baldi say times during the third crazy question in the second notebook, so the sound file is used, however no normal actual multiplication questions are ever seen. Next up we have an unused, early, distorted face of It's a Bully. Another interesting tidbit about this face is that it was actually used by the developer to test the artificial intelligence of some characters earlier in the game's development. Next is an early unused description board for arts and crafters which would have appeared in the principal's office. It would have read, Truly an incredible sock puppet. I've never seen one like it. This was probably altered because it didn't really give the player any idea of how arts and crafters works. The game also has two chalkboard drawings that are normally not seen. The first is an early version of the board that is normally seen in the second room that you enter. It simply said, Sorry, round out of time to add more subjects. In the final release, this was changed to Sorry, was too lazy to add more subjects. The second board is normally not seen in any rooms, however if you're quick, you can see it for a brief moment after collecting all of the notebooks through one of the fake exits. It reads, This program is a cancer, with a bunch of 99s scribbled around it. This chalkboard is also referenced in the files as 99.mat. Pretty strange, isn't it? Not sure if the developer was just super stressed when developing the game one day, or if the message and the 99s have some other deeper hidden meaning. The only thing that I can think of relating to the 99s is the 1999 graphic setting in which you are forced to play the game when booting it up. Who knows? And while we're on the topic of the board, by messing around with the game's code, I was able to walk outside of the school and get a closer look at it. Other strange things I found with this is that it ended up showing all the exits that spawn at the end game, and they seemed to be displaced vertically. My guess is that this is how the fake exits are hidden during normal play, and then either they are all moved down or the entire school is moved up to reveal them. Also, below the school, I was able to see all of the notebooks after collecting them. So apparently, right after you collect them, they just get sent below the ground. Kinda neat, I guess. Anyways, the last unused image is that of one with just the word item poorly scribbled on it. This was most likely just initially used as a placeholder image for the game's items earlier in development. So I didn't think it would be even possible to hate playtime more than I already do, but it turns out that I was wrong. In the game's files, the following unused voice clip can be found. So broken times in a row, once you do, I let you go. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. Playtime would make you jump rope ten times instead of just the five in the final version. There are also unused sound clips of playtime counting from 6 to 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This clearly suggests that playtime was initially going to be an even bigger challenge. I'm certainly glad that this was changed. Apparently some fans have already added this in a mod for the game to make it even harder. Certainly good for those looking for a challenge and to pull their hair out. Next is a weird, unused sound that sounds sort of like a distorted chicken noise. 
not really sure what this could have been used for, perhaps another unused item or a character. There is another weird unused sound clip that almost sounds like heavy breathing. At first I thought maybe this would have been used if the player ran out of stamina after running, but the file for the sound is in fact referenced as creepysound.ogg, so perhaps it would have been used for something more sinister, or an alternate sound to Baldi catching you or something. Next up is some sort of unused pulsing sound. To me it sounds like it would have been emitted from an item and would get louder as you get near it. It might have even been meant for the notebooks. And finally we have two unused bits of monologue for the principal that hint at other gameplay mechanics that were scrapped. The first of these mentions stabbing someone with a pencil. No stabbing people with pencils in the halls. I'm guessing that at one point there would have been a pencil item that would have given the player the ability to be able to stab other characters with the said pencil. To nobody's surprise, this would obviously get you in trouble with the principal. What effect the pencil would have on the other characters is still up in the air, but maybe it would have injured them and sent them running to the principal's office or something. In a similar fashion, at one point in development, the principal would also admonish the player for looking into the lockers seen in the hallways. No looking in other people's lockers in the halls. As such, it is believed that at some point, it was planned that the player would be able to check inside lockers with the chance of finding an item. Whether these items would be randomly placed, or if they would be in the same locations each game like the rest of the items remains unclear. What is clear is that the developer has went on record to say both of these gameplay mechanics wouldn't be coming back in a future release. One last interesting thing to note is that as of the latest version 1.3 update, the food eating principal sound clip was removed. No eating food in the halls. You still get in trouble for eating the zesty bars in the hallway, so I don't really know why this was taken out. And with that concludes this Lost Bits video on Baldi's Basics, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what other games you'd like to see me cover on Lost Bits next. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe and check out my other Lost Bits videos by clicking on the card right here. And if you would like to stay even more up to date with me and the channel, you can also follow me over on my other social media pages which will all be linked in the description below. But as always guys, thank you all so much for watching today and for all of your amazing support, and I will see you in a bit!